You had mentioned that uh, you're having some problems uh, measuring some points in kind of the woods and harsher GNSS environments. Um, is that true? I mean, yeah, we've got some jobs that are in the woods and they've been giving us some trouble, so love to see what you got. We've had some huge improvements over the last couple of years. Um, we've added some new options, multi-path reduction and interference mitigation, but uh, most importantly, we've had some um, software improvements. Okay. Uh, we've had some RTK kernel improvements, which really allows us to have more availability and reliability in those harsher conditions. Um, we can tell that we're fixed here. We're kind of out in a more open environment right yeah. now. When we have a fix, you can see that by the plus symbol, and then you'll see that green kind of bubble looking thing. What about that, that check mark? Smart check, we had a question about the smart check. So the check mark is smart check. What we do is we run two kind of simultaneous calculations on the GNSS position. And because of that, we can really check to see what's happening. It improves, improves the reliability of the GNSS. What were you saying about the green bubble here? The green bubble? The green bubble is the tilt. Right? So the GS18 is calibration free, but it does require to be initialized and initializes just by a little bit of movement. Okay. Yeah. And with that, you know, we have a position, we're fixed. So let's go and try and measure this point here underneath the trees. Okay. Right. And again, this is kind of um, very true with a lot of control points. It's like they will be in kind of these harsher areas, maybe underneath the pine tree or, or along a fence line or something like this. And you might see us as we walk in. You might see that we might lose initialization, but we will get it back fairly quickly. Okay. So we lost it here. Is this the point here? Yep, this is the point right here on the rock. So what we'll do is we'll just, you see that check mark came up for smart yeah. check and we're initialized. And what you see here oh, wow. is we're within a couple of tenths. Wow. Elevation's good. Everything is fixed and great. And even in this harsh conditions, you look straight up, we're underneath a healthy amount of canopy and a number of uh, uh, number of trees pr providing some multi -tenor. Yeah, that's great. I mean, normally we would have to shoot this in with the turtle station, so. Yeah, yeah, that's what we had to do in the past, but you know, customers have been really wanting to kind of push the boundary of the GNSS lately, and that's what we're seeing is we're adding these improvements with the software over time. Cool. Yeah. Well, do you think we can like kind of push this any further? Yep, we have another control point right over here that's a little bit harder. Okay. All right, let's go. Take a wander over there. Okay. So here you go. We'll let you stake out this one. All right. Yeah, sounds good. RTK initialization box. RTK Yeah, it's nice out today. Yeah, it's not bad. Good. A little chilly. Yeah, it's right here underneath this tree. So this one's a little bit harsher with the uh, overhead canopy and it's right beside this tree. Okay. There it is right there. Down here? Yeah, right. that's it. All right, I'm gonna bubble up. Yeah, and you don't actually have to bubble up. You know, we do have the tilt. So you can lean this over if you'd want to, and you'd still really? get that accuracy. So you notice that Whoa. we do have that accuracy there inside of a tenth, and we are getting that fixed position. So in this type of harsh condition, it really does work really, really well. That's great. Yeah, perfect. So now that we're done checking our control, we can go work on some other stuff. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's go.